my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The book of Sirach, chapter 36, verse 19. We read that the wonderful works of the Lord fulfill Zion, Zion with your majesty and your temple with your glory. My brothers and sisters, in some other translation we read in this way, O oh Lord, with your wonderful works, fill, see, fill sign. With your wonderful works, fill sign. My brothers and sisters, today's gospel passage gives us the clear message that the presence of Jesus Christ is in our midst. He is ready to fill sign with your majesty and your temple with your glory. You can, see the wit you can see the wonders of the Lord. You could witness the miracles of the Lord. The Lord is telling us the presence of Jesus Christ is very much, very much active, is very much seen in the Holy Eucharist, in the Holy Adoration. Now the question before us is that, are we acknowledging or are we, are we accepting the Lord who is present in our midst. The gospel, the, uh, the people of Pharisees asked Jesus, why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? This was important for them. Certain, certain customs and traditions were very much important for them. But they did not understand the real meaning of all these customs and traditions. The real importance or the real meaning of these customs and tradition, that is to find the person of Jesus Christ. When Jesus himself, when Jesus himself is present in the midst of, in the midst of us, why can't we see him? Why can't we accept the great miracles that the Lord is doing us. My brothers and sisters, God is not far away from us. In the Old Testament, God was with them day and night in the form of great cloud during the day and in the form of light at night. The presence of Jesus Christ was with them all throughout their life. Though the Israel had a lot of struggles and difficulties, those people survived their struggles and difficulties by looking at the person of Jesus Christ. Today, my brothers and sisters, Jesus is inviting each one of us to look at him, to get energy from him, to be radiant, and to share the joy of gospel, to share the joy of Lord's love with many other people. So we are people, we are people of New Testament. We are people of Jesus Christ. We, have, we are not people of the Old Testament. We are not too much so on the laws and regulations. More than that, we are moving with Jesus Christ. The person of Jesus Christ, who is very much active, who is very much with us. The presence of Christ is very much with us. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is asking us, are you, are you understanding, accepting, and are you believing are you seeing the wonderful presence of the Lord in our midst? Very often we fail to understand the presence of Jesus Christ in our midst. Brothers and sisters, the presence of Jesus is there, is with us in different ways. It is there in the sacrament. Jesus Christ is truly, really and substantially present in the Eucharist. Jesus Christ is present in the Holy Adoration. Jesus Christ is also present in the word of God. These days we are going through the we're going through the word of God retreat. We are pondering over the power of the word of God. Brothers and sisters, the first and foremost thing is that believe in God who believe, who lives in the midst of his people. We do not seek the presence of God anywhere. We do not go any place to meet Jesus Christ. He is there in our midst, in the midst of your struggles, in the midst of your difficulties, in the midst of problems, in the midst of disease, 
you could see the presence of jesus christ so my dear brothers and sisters the lord is telling us believe in the god who is present in your struggles and failures very often it is easy to understand god in our, in in our in our in our success but very difficult for people to find the face of jesus in our struggles and pain but brothers and sisters the presence of jesus or the face of jesus is more clear with those who are suffering and those who are in pain praise the lord so brothers and sisters those who are in pain those who are in struggle those who are in struggle those who are in sickness the presence of jesus christ is very much in their midst in their life in their face when everything is fine when things are all right with you when you are progressing in your studies when your business is going on well when things are in favor of you brothers and sisters we could say that god bless us but when things are not in favor of us when things are against us when we feel that we are lonely we have no one else to be trusted and when we feel that we are sick we are depressed we are in the midst of struggles pain and difficulties at that time the lord is telling you my child i am with you i am with you so the presence of jesus christ is very much there in the holy eucharist here we meet the person of jesus christ letter to hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 we read that indeed the word of god is a living and active sharper than any two edged sword piercing until it divides soul from spirit joints from marrow it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart so my dear brothers and sisters jesus christ our lord jesus christ is very much present in the word of god when you open the word of god you are not opening any other book you are opening you are opening uh, you, you, the, the face of the lord my brothers and sisters you are start when you are reading the word of god you start a dialogue with jesus christ this is not a simply a book it is a person when you read the word of god then you reflect the word of god when you ponder over the word of god my brothers and sisters you are dialoguing with the person of jesus christ it is not it is not a simple person the person who is the creator of this world the person who is active the person who is very much close to you the person who is able to do anything for you praise the lord praise the lord so brothers and sisters those who read the word of god they become one with the lord we know that you call it eucharist the lord is there it is easy for us to believe that is why people come and with lot of respect and reverence they approach the mysteries of the sacrament when we when we receive the when we receive the holy eucharist we receive the power of jesus we are one with jesus christ jesus christ is coming to our life in the same way when you read the word of god jesus christ is fully there you are in dialogue with the person of jesus christ my brothers and sisters what is happening when you are dialoguing with somebody else even in our human times we know that when we are in sorrow when we are in difficulties people would like to share their difficulties and joy with other people with joy we will get, we get so many people to be to share but when you are in pain when you are in sorrow you don't get many people that's why we pay money and we find counselors and we speak to them by spending our money we get some consolation but brothers and sisters here there is someone who is jesus christ when you read the word of god you will be consoled you will get an experience of the presence of jesus christ you understand that someone is talking to you you understand that jesus christ is revealing the great mysteries of love towards you so brothers and sisters word of god holy eucharist and the word of god these are the two ways to meet the person of jesus christ in today's gospel it, it very clearly tells us the bridegroom is with us when the bridegroom is with us the bridegroom is with us and we can we are people called to be joyful 
We are people called to be joyful because we have the great assurance. We have the great assurance that the Lord is with us. That the Lord is with us. You know the experience of the Emmaus, you know the Emmaus experience, the disciples who were who were traveling, who were walking, they were, it's, it seems that they were so sad. The Emmaus experience clearly tells us that those disciples who were walking with a person, they were sad. Their face seems to be failed. But when, but when they understood that Jesus is with them, my brothers and sisters, the whole atmosphere has changed. The whole atmosphere has changed. This is what is happening to you and me. When we are in the midst of struggles, difficulties and pain, when there are a lot of sufferings, diseases, when people are rejecting you, you must have the great conviction that the Lord is with you and he is the only one with you. When you open your heart before him, my brothers and sisters, when you start, when you start recognizing the presence of Jesus Christ, when you start experiencing the presence of Jesus Christ, it is a clear sign. It's a clear sign that the Lord is with us. When you start experiencing the presence of Jesus Christ, you will be consoled. You will be consoled. So today, when we celebrate the feast of Joseph Voss, the great saint who suffered for the kingdom of God, to, to preach the word of God, he found his consolation in the person of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, in today's gospel and in today's holy mass, the Lord is very specially telling us, find your consolation in Jesus. There could be so many other options here in this world. But all those options, they are only temporary. Why people are after drugs and drinks and various other pleasures? They always say that we are worried. We are stressful. We need some consolation. For how many hours? Two hours? Five hours? Brothers and sisters, here there is someone who can give you consolation forever. You will enjoy the life with Jesus Christ. Yesterday, there was a person who came here. I spoke with him and he told me that, Father, it is, it is very easy, very easy for me to do things because I believe in God very much. So I'm sure that the Lord will guide me. The Lord will guide me. I'm experiencing the joy of being guided by the Lord. Brothers and sisters, each and every Christian is called for such an experience. The Lord never tells that I will not give you cross. In fact, the Lord clearly told us, those who are coming and following me, they will have a lot of crosses. But brothers and sisters, there is an also an another assurance that the, he will be with us till the end of the time. So brothers and sisters, let us worship him. Let us thank him. Let us experience the presence of Jesus in our midst. Let him be our comforter, counselor, and consoler. We pray that we may meet the Lord Jesus Christ in this Holy Mass, in the, in the Holy Bible. In the third area, I'm not mentioning it because very often I have mentioned in many homilies about meeting Jesus Christ in other people too. God bless. Amen.